Hi, I'd like to discuss with you today a very important reaction undergone by conjugated dienes. And we're going to discuss what's called the 1-2 and the 1-4 addition. A lot of students always ask me about this, and let's go over it. In this example, I'm going to give you a molecule 1,3-butadiene. And what we're going to do is we're going to react it with HBr. Now, you always get two products whenever you have a conjugated diene reacting with something like HBr or HCl. Now, the temperature is going to be the deciding factor on which product is going to dominate. Would it be the 1,2 product or the 1,4 product? So, as you can see, at minus 80 degrees, the 1,2 dominates. And I went to the literature and I saw that it was 80% 1,2 and 20% 1,4. At 40 degrees Celsius, it was the reverse. It was about 15% 1,2 and 85% 1,4. Now, let's go over the mechanics of what happened. In the very first step of the mechanism, I want to form the most stable carbocation. So I'm going to invoke the Markovnikov rule and add to the carbon with the most H's. So as you can see, the double bond reaches out and grabs the H. This bond breaks. That is a usual heterolytic cleavage. And we're going to add that H. And I'll put it here so nobody gets lost. We, we added the H on and we formed the carbocation. Now this carbocation can have resonance. So if this moved over, that would give this. Let's keep that H there so we keep track. So we basically have two carbocations. We have carbocation A and we have carbocation B. Now, the faster reaction is what we call under kinetic control. And the faster reaction will be the formation of the more stable carbocation. So as you can see clearly, this is a secondary allylic. That's a secondary allylic carbocation. And this would only be a primary allylic. So as you can see, attack on the secondary allylic, which is fast, which is under what we call kinetic control. We form the best carbocation and we form our one, two product. And this is at low temperature, but there's no equilibrium established. Once you go over the energy hump, the reaction is over. There's not enough energy to go back. So the major product was formed from the more stable carbocation, and that's the fastest. Let's look at the 1,4 product. Even though the 1,4 product is slower, and it's slower, as you can see, the carbocation wasn't as stable. Look at the major product. The major product is more substituted. As you can see, if you went to here, this is only mono-substituted, where if you went to here, this is the more internalized double bond, and it's di-substituted. So the product is more stable. So the bottom line is, if it's more stable, that means that that would be the major product at high temperatures. Why? Because at a higher temperature, we can establish an equilibrium. So that would mean at the higher temperature, the 1-2 gets there faster. But in the same token, it breaks apart faster and goes backwards. So therefore, when it goes backwards, that means that in the reaction vessel, the 1,4, which is more stable, is not going to go back to as great of an extent as the 1,2. So in the end, when equilibrium is established, you're going to get the 1,4 product dominating at the higher temperature. So remember, if there's no equilibrium established, it's game over. You get the 1-2. If I can create an equilibrium and I can have that reaction reverse, the 1-2 that is formed goes backwards and eventually we'll be able to form more of the 1-4. Tricky indeed. So remember, 1-2 product, kinetic control, low temperature. At the higher temperature, the 1-4 product, and that's our thermodynamic product. All right, I hope this clears this up. We have a couple of good questions in the Dat Destroyer. If you have any other questions on this, hit me up on the Facebook study group and we'll discuss it. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye.